But what can we possibly learn about the candidates during their third debate in 15 days? Probably nothing. But the audience continues to surprise. In 2010, when I was deployed to Iraq, I had to lie about who I was. Do you intend to circumvent the progress that's been made for gay and lesbian soldiers in the military? Yeah, I, I, I would say... Y yeah, boo! <laughs> I give the audience credit. It takes a lot of balls to boo a guy who could stick your head in his biceps and crack it like a walnut. <laughs> Look at those things. Those aren't biceps. Those are like... Dota cap steps. I'm serious. If this guy turned into the Hulk, his arms would stay the same size. <laughs> they would just turn green. But of course, Rick Santorum handled this ugly incident beautifully. No, he did not chastise any individuals in the crowd for their disgraceful outburst. But on the plus side, uh, don't ask, don't tell. That policy would be reinstituted, and as far as people who are in, in it, I would not throw them out because that would be unfair to them because of the policy of this administration. But we would move forward in, in conformity with what was happening in the past, which was sex is not an issue. It, is not, it, it should not be an issue. Leave it alone. Keep it, keep it to yourself, whether you're heterosexual or homosexual. What planet do you f***ing live on? Honestly, what is sex is not an issue? Yes, the Army uh, has never mentioned uh, spouses, heterosexual, or homosexual. We need to go back to an Army where soldiers never specify anything about their sexual orientation. Like the old Army drill sound off. I don't know, but I've been told Eskimo genitalia of unspecified gender are mighty cold. <laughs> Those classic World War II aircraft, the Memphis Pat. <laughs> And the, the, the plane that dropped the atomic bomb, the Enola, none of your business. <laughs> Guy is an idiot. No disrespect. <laughs> you guys support the troops. Well, except for Captain Creatine over here. <laughs> it's like the Republican base is at war with its own talking points. We don't believe in the kind of smallness that says it's okay for a stage full of political leaders, one of whom could end up being the President of the United States, being silent when an American soldier is booed. You want to be Commander-in-Chief? You can start by standing up for the men and women who wear the uniform of the United States, even when it's not politically convenient. Hello, I'm a soldier currently serving in Iraq, and I have a question for the Republican candidates. In 2010, when I was deployed to Iraq, I had to lie about who I was because I'm a gay soldier, and I didn't want to lose my job. My question is, under one of your presidencies, do you intend to circumvent the progress that's been made for gay and lesbian soldiers in the military, or would you continue to allow us openly to serve and not fear losing our jobs? Um, and would you consider extending the same spouse benefits to gay and lesbian soldiers who are legally married as you do to our heterosexual counterparts? Thank you very much. Have a good day.
Captain Stephen Hill has served 18 years in the Army, fighting in two wars. He just completed his latest tour. He's due back in Columbus in the next two weeks. Falling for you.